Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Baby Jesus back at it again with another video. This is going to be my part three to my series uh, Food for Thought. Uh, so yeah, this is episode three, part three. Um, guys, I'm going to be straight up honest and I'm part. I'm just going to vent, you know, a little bit. Uh, it actually all kind of has to do with what I'm going to talk about today. And uh, these last few days have been pretty shitty. Uh, right now... I I'm I'm so dizzy right now. I have like a, a migraine. I'm I'm like stressing. Uh, like in the last two hours, I got in like little tiny episodes where everything kind of like moves back and forth. Uh, I don't know if that was <laughs> if I just went through two earthquakes and I didn't even know, which I doubt it. And I should probably go to the hospital, but eh, fuck it. Who needs that shit, right? Um, look, just to I'm gonna vent a little. All right. Uh, last night something kind of happened with a girl that I've been uh, kind of well. I've been treating a girl, or that sounded terrible. <laughs> I've been kind of flirting with a girl, and uh, for the last couple of weeks, she's she has been sweet talking me. She's been telling me things uh, that well, any guy would like to hear, you know, that she likes me and she thinks I'm a great man. And she's been telling me she has been. T I'm, I'm making it very clear that she's been telling me these things because last night, uh, well, we have a saying here in in Spanish, and it's uh, me mando a la verga. Um, last night she just wanted to cut everything off and she just pretty much, we're, we were like a car going at like a hundred, 120 miles per hour. And she just slammed on the brakes and the e-brakes and it all just came out of nowhere. And I'm just kind of like, it bummed me out a lot and I'm kind of stressing about it. Then not to mention, uh, for those of you that follow me on Facebook, uh, surely you guys uh, saw that I posted maybe three, four days ago that someone that I kind of met relatively new, uh, relatively recently um it's not whether i like them or not but apparently uh, she was very kind to me very nice it turns out from multiple people that she didn't she didn't even like me so i just i, I haven't had to deal with that in a while and uh just kind of bummed me out again and uh, what made everything worse is i just started watching the show ozark yeah i know i'm a little late to the party and jesus christ the two spoiled white american kids they are they make my migraine worse i think that's why i got that little dizzy spell you know where everything just moved back and forth for a little bit they are so fucking annoying like my god like dude uh, well i mean i was about to say like maybe maybe white people don't know how to raise kids but i mean we're over here in mexico murdering young girls and women for no reason so uh, at least we're not annoying about it you know but whatever anyways the only good thing that came out of today is that this morning my my neighbors they knocked on my door they're uh they're bakers and uh, they brought over these cookies fire ass uh, fire ass cookies are so good right oh so fucking good that's pretty much the only thing that's been making me feel okay today. Well, guys, you know, <laughs> fire ass cookie, bro. Mm. Guys, <clears throat> I've um I've had these thoughts recently, and uh, I really just want to get into them, especially with what's going been going on these last few days about just there's there's something that we really don't talk about because it it's kind of been blurred or muddled. Or I don't know if even that's even a word, but it made sense to me, you know. There's this conversation that a lot of people don't have. And it's not the conversation of good versus evil and good and bad. In this life, life isn't black and white. I personally like to make things black and white. Like you either like me or you don't. Boom. It just adds a lot of clarity. But that's not how this life is. Now, to get more into detail... Uh, last week, I rewatched the movie Deepwater Horizon, that uh, Mark uh, Wahlberg movie where uh, they talk about the BP oil spill back in like 2011, 2010. Uh, I talked about in my Batman movie review how I watched the, the HBO miniseries Chernobyl, the, the nuclear disaster, the biggest disaster arguably in the history of humanity that we've ever had in uh, in Russia, in, in a city in Russia, something like that with... Uh, the nuclear, uh, a nuclear explosion, you know, and emitting radiation across the entire continent, basically. <clears throat> Why did I bring up these two movies? When you really think about human humanity and greed and ego and and selfishness and just 
Uh, I guess I guess there is this uh, toxic um, masculinity. I'll go ahead and add that as well. Uh, men don't like to be. Uh, don't, they don't like to be. Um, how can I say it? Certain men hate being told that they're wrong or hate uh, appearing weak. Uh, all of this it has caused humanity so much pain. And I just listed off two movies. I haven't even listed off instances and throughout the history where there's just been massive deaths, massive pain, massive damage caused to humanity. Now, I'm talking about damage and pain to humanity. What about damage and pain to you? What about damage and pain to me? What about damage and pain to us? Uh, I... At the beginning of my video, I listed off just things I'm really bummed about. I, I've been these last few days. I've been a little. I've been pretty sad. Uh, I'm 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 stressing. You know, I just got off of work. I'm my head. I feel I feel dizzy. Like everything because of it's like kind of like a just all these things that are accumulating, right? Well, it, all of this, the movies, how I'm feeling right now, all of this going on. It reminded me of something that happened about two years ago. Now, story time, okay? Two years ago, when I came, I've already been in Mexico a, a year by that time. I uh, I was here in Mexico. I started offering English classes in my gated community. I put up a sign uh, giving English lessons, private English lessons, if you need help with homework, translations, yada, yada, yada. I met a young man. Uh, a young man that at the time, I think, actually, I think he's still in high school. Yeah, he's like in his last year of high school, I believe. I met a kid that was in high school and he wanted to learn uh, English. So I started giving him English courses, you know, uh, a couple hours a week. We, he's a very, he's moved on now. Uh, not only do I not give him English classes anymore to this day, but he actually moved, uh, he, he lives in another, another part of the city. We don't see each other anymore. But at that time, we actually became friends. In one of those instances, he invited me to a party. His birthday party. Yeah, now I'm starting to remember much more details as I'm talking about it. Excuse me. He invited me to his birthday party. At this birthday party, in one of in one of those moments, um, we started playing something here called uh, Barajas, which I'm going to be honest with you, I, I it's like, it's a card game, or I forget if that word barajas means card games, like any game you can play with a card, or if it's a specific game. Well, it's not cards like the the clubs, uh, diamonds, crown. No, no, no. It's they actually have like uh, pictures on the cards, and you, you, it's not loteria either. No, no, no. It's some kind of card game, right? <coughs> he tried to teach me how to play. At the end of the day, I couldn't learn. Anyways, that's not the point. The point of my story is that in, in, I don't remember every exact detail. This was two years ago, but I, I'm never going to forget what occurred next. Uh, at one point, I think I was like leaning over a little too much. And my cards, I wasn't trying to expose them. I was just trying to, I leaned over. I think, I, I don't know if I was grabbing my drink. I can't remember why. But what I remember is that when I was leaning over, my uh, my friend got his hand and he pushed my cards back up, back towards me, back to towards my chest. Now, I'm terribly sorry. Um, right before this, it's uh, kind of serendipitous, I guess. Right before that happened, um, something, another detail. We started talking about funny phrases in Spanish. In, in Mexico, there is a phrase, a very popular, common phrase. Everyone knows it. El que no tranza, no avanza. El que no tranza no avanza. I, the little translation, it would cost a lot for me to do. But basically what it's trying to say is that if you don't cheat or or do bad things or like... You, el que no tranza, shit, oh my God. My, my mind is like blanking right now. It's trying to say basically that you have to cheat people in order to have victory, in order to have your way or in order to win. That's basically what it means. And it's a big saying here because there's so much corruption in the government. There's so much... There's a lot of poverty here that people have to resort to crime. Here at around 10, 11 p.m., and if it's really dark and secluded areas, 
Uh, I'm sure many of you heard that a young lady just a few months ago, I, I'm going to be very honest, I'm not keeping up with that story for a lot of reasons. I'm not going to get into it. And no one's bothered. I've asked a few times now on social media, can someone explain this to me? And no one has bothered. So that's it for me. Um, a young lady was murdered because her friends apparently abandoned her. And uh, she was murdered here in Mexico, in, in Monterrey, I believe. There's so much crime, murder, and corruption. So now there's this phrase that we tag onto everything that actually applies to our country. Uh, and it's el que no tranza no avanza. So basically it's promoting that you step over people to get what you want, that you cheat, that you, you do dark deeds in order to, to achieve greatness. We talked, so this is all kind of funny because we talked about that phrase, many other phrases as well, but we talked about that phrase And the next thing that happens in the next sequence of events, I leaned a little too forward with my cards and my friend, he, he pushed my cards back towards my chest. And he said uh, something, I, I don't remember the exact timing, but when we were talking about El Que No Tranza No Avanza, uh, he, he told me, he's like, uh, Chuy, well, he told me in Spanish, but I'll say it in English. He's like, you don't ever do that. You don't ever walk over others to get what you want. So he has a, a kind and pure heart. And he, so that, those were his words. His actions further demonstrated that when he pushed his cards to my chest, because basically we got to talking and he's like, I, if you would have leaned over a little more, we could have seen your cards. And so that's why I pushed your cards forward. This young man, um, he's always going to be a friend to me, even though we kind of really don't talk anymore because you know he has his life now, he moved and all that. But he's a really, really good guy, a really good man and ladies. There's a bunch of guys like that out in this world, but instead, you want to change. Uh, you, I was, gonna, uh, I'll, I'll say it. You guys want to chase assholes and and just uh, bad guy, uh, bad boys and all that. Well, you do you. Hopefully, you learn your lesson. But anyways, moving on. <coughs> Why am I bringing this all up? I've really been thinking um, from my from recent events from these last few days that I've been you know bummed out. Uh, from the movies that I've seen recently, from uh, Deepwater Horizon, from uh, from Chernobyl, and from remem remembering what happened with my friend uh, at his birthday party, I've I've always come to believe this in a certain way. But I think just from everything that's been going on, and just from overthinking these last few days, I finally created not not necessarily a formula, but I finally created an ideology. He said that you shouldn't trample and walk over people and go over people to get what you want. And that's a beautiful idea. That's, um, that's pure honor. That's pure, pure, pure heartedness. That's being an angel. That's being a, a, a great individual. And I, I condone that. I think that's how we should all be. Uh, you know, uh, well, okay, I, I was about to jump into something, but I, I better not. Um, now, There's the exact contrast, the exact exact opposite, which here you see it a lot in Mexico that there's people that are willing to trample over others, literally trample over, well, yeah, literally and figuratively speak, trample others to get what they want or what they need. Now, I guess a lot of the world sees people as good or bad. I'm starting to see three types of people. I'll list them like this. Someone who's very shitty, murderers, drug dealers, well, I mean, drug dealers, if you know, they're, if they're, um, if they're hustling to pay bills, that's, uh, that's not exactly what I meant, but I, you know, I, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to infer, like just a mafia, cartels, uh, horrible, uh, just horrible, horrible people that do trample others, that do, uh, they'll cheat, they'll lie, they'll do whatever they have to, and even forget about law, forget about the streets, In relationships and, and just taking advantage of people in, in the workplace. That's a shitty type of person, right? The angel. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And I was gonna, I was, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, all these metaphors, I'm gonna make them into card players, okay? A shitty type of person is a person who peeks at someone's cards trying to cheat, trying to not get caught right like me like if we're playing poker if we're playing bingo i don't i don't give a fuck or not bingo uh uh uno i don't give a fuck you know like you're trying to peek if you're a really shitty person if you're trying to peek at someone's card to try to win right now the second type of person would be 
an angel, just like my friend. Uh, let's say that you're playing a card game, whether it's poker, blackjack, whether it's Uno, whether it's go fish. And let's say your opponent, for some reason, starts leaning a little too forward and they start exposing their cards. So what do you do? You shut your eyes, right? You like you close, you shield your eyes. You 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 like no, I can't cheat. La 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 la. la. You know, like la la la. You know, <laughs> when you cover your ears and go la la la, or uh, or or like my friend did, you push the cards back to his chest and say, Hey, buddy, you're about to show me your cards, and I'm no cheater. That I guess is what you people would call uh, what you people would call a, a good person, you know. But what about in my head this third kind of person that I'm kind of uh, that I've just created or have found out about? You know, before I get into the third type of person, uh, and I'm sorry if if, uh, if some of you want to turn off the the video at, at this point, but uh, I've been I've been through a lot in this life, you know. Uh, women have told me certain things and then just completely changed directions. Uh, I've had a lot of issues with my family. I've had to leave the country where I was raised. Uh, a lot of things just really haven't worked out when you, when I've tried to give my all, try to be a, a great person, uh, and, and I still do, you know. And I, I'm, uh, I'm, I think I have a couple of new followers who don't really know that when I came to Mexico, I started a, for it was only about for like a month. I started a live series where I would post uh, a video every single day of of vegan food I have to eat. A uh, doctor told me that my health, I, I have some health issues with my legs and with my kidneys. And they told me that I had to literally stop eating animal products. Not vegetarian, not just leave red meat, no. Leave all animal products, dairy included. For about a month, I went entirely vegan. And some nights, I, I'll be sincere with you guys, some nights I would li literally cry. I would be in my bed because I was so hungry. I was just, I wanted to eat and and I couldn't. And I, I posted these videos of vegan meals that I had and, and all this. And just, I've been through a lot, you know. And, and yeah, it was only after a month because after a month, uh, my numbers dramatically improved and things were good. But then it's not only that. I had to start working. I had to start uh, finding out about how to build a life here in, in Mexico. And so a lot of things got in the way anyway. Just, I've been through a lot and I've come to see now that just because you're an angel, that just because you're a great person with great intentions, life isn't always going to go your way. So what? Do you turn to a life of crime? Do you turn to, you know what, I'm going to be an asshole now. I'm going to hate everyone. I'm going to trample over people to get what I want. Well, that's not an option either because uh, I believe that if you, if you have too many skeletons in your closet, they're going to eventually, whether it's in a week, in a year or in 10 years, I believe they're going to come back and haunt you. If you've trampled over people to get what you want, if you've been an asshole throughout your life, all of that, I feel, oh, oh, perfect. I can't believe I was blanking, but it's like karma. I feel like it's all going to come back to you. If it doesn't, hey, good for you. Live your life. Spend uh, your money on titties and, and, and hoes, on cocaine, whatever. Good for you. But I believe that it comes back to bite you in the ass. Now... I'm starting to to see that maybe there is another path you could take, the third card player. What if, while my friend and I were playing, what if I had leaned over too much? And what if I had exposed my cards? And in that instance, I peeked at his cards. I'm not trampling over someone. Like, I'm not trying to cheat and using mirrors or whatever to peek at someone's cards. He literally just, out of his own uh, obliviousness, out of his own ignorance, out of his own innocence, he he exposes cards. I think I'm starting to develop a mentality of where you should take any advantage you're given. Use, use anything you can in this world to keep on fighting another day. And so I guess I got this message for some of you. Some of you may agree. Some of you may, may disagree. And this is from right now. My, my uh, well, may, I doubt many of you know, but not only has my dad recently gotten his, uh, his pastoral degree or license, like my dad is now licensed to be a, a church pastor. And uh, I guess you can call me a pastor kid a little. And what's funny about that is not, I didn't grow up being a pastor's kid. But pretty much, my parents forced me to to memorize biblical lyrics. 
uh, like John 3.16, uh, a, a bunch more too. We had to do Bible study sessions almost every other night. We had to do something. I don't, I don't know if it's called, uh, I think it's called a devotional. In Spanish, it's un devocional, where you have to kind of do homework, biblical homework. So this is coming from someone who kind of grew up with like the Ten Commandments, being good, loving God, all this, yada, yada, yada. Look at through what because of what I've been through in this life, because of what I've been through with women, because of what I've I've been through uh, in my 27 years of life, I've come to discover that you should aim to be an angel. You should aim to be like that friend who, when you're about to expose your cards, you're about to be very vulnerable. When you're about to be really innocent, he, someone protects you. Someone takes care of you. You should aim to be like that. You should not trample over others to get what you want, hurt others, murder, steal. You should not break laws or, or social etiquette, so, social laws to get what you need or want. But in the rare occasions which they do come along, when people screw up, when people slip up, or when people are just too innocent, when people maybe want to give a bit more than they should, whether it's physical material or information, I'm starting to see that, you know what, maybe sometimes you sh don't have to be an angel. You don't have to be an angel every single time. Sometimes if your card player chooses to expose his cards, don't close your eyes. Keep them open. You know, stay on your toes. Stay stay alive, you know. <laughs> and um, this world isn't good or evil. There are lovely, lovely, beautiful people out there that are cowards. There are lovely people out there that are brave. There are shitty people. There are people out there that I, I probably wouldn't even stand being around them a few seconds that have done good deeds. This world is not black or white. So why should you be? All right, guys. Well, you know what? That's my video. I think I'm going to go lay down. My head is killing me right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink. Uh, I, I, dude, I can't even think right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Take care.